Welcome back everyone, Dirch here, and I have another Legendary Weapon preview for you guys. And this one is a Dahl Assault Rifle, which I quite like Dahl Assault Rifles in this game. And this is the Star Helix. Um, I have two of these and they're pretty much the same, both in radiation and the same stats. So the Star Helix is actually a reference, uh, the stars are better off without us, to the show... Um, the Expanse, which I watched the first season and I liked it quite a bit. And I think they're almost out with season four, so I'm quite a bit behind. It's one of those shows I keep meaning to catch up with, but there's so much stuff to consume nowadays that I don't know if I ever will. And it's sad because I love sci-fi shows. Um, but I'm happy there's a cool new sci-fi show on, even if I'm not watching it. But uh, yeah, this gun, as you can see, it has some cool mechanics. And uh, let's see how they work in practice and then we'll uh, talk about them a little bit more um, I do like that it's in radiation uh, I just kinda like radiation as an element uh, this it does come in full and burst and I will uh, switch off between them uh, to see how they perform but so far uh, fairly solid alright where is this guy So you can see that the recoil is pretty low. Um, I was not doing a good job of hitting that guy though. Oh shit. I wasn't paying too good of attention there. But we got him down. I do like how the radiation dot can spread to nearby enemies. Um, I should take care of this Nog first. Oh, he was on that was almost dead. But the DPS seems solid, not not ridiculous. But um If I can get that sweet spot down, I can probably do a lot more. Whoa. I was taking a bunch there. Is that a loot? I definitely want to kill that thing. So the trick with this thing is to get the bullets to come in and hit that enemy. And if it does, you're getting the times three. If not, you're getting times one. So this is one ammo per shot and it's times three, but it's just landing them in that spot where they come together. Now, if you get super close, so you're gonna land all three, but if I'm back here, I'm not. If I'm here, So it's, it's about getting that sweet spot where they come back. And that's the tough thing with this gun. Is that it's a small sweet spot range. So really what I want to be doing to get most effective with this thing to be guaranteed is just get right up close. But even that range, like if there's enemies gathered up, sometimes those sideway bullets hit the other enemy. Or sometimes if the enemy moves out of the way the bullet off to the side will hit them as well so instead of missing you still hit which makes it a little forgiving uh, I do like the full auto but I'm gonna switch to burst over here so you guys can see it but uh let's just you know look at the gun play with it the I'm not that impressed about how it looks it's kinda of plain Jane here which is a little bit sad but uh I mean, it's not terrible or anything but it's just not fancy like some of the guns. Um, so we have an accuracy accessory. I don't know how good that is on Dahl. Uh, fire rate is very nice. Uh, recoil and reload is both nice, even though this thing's got very low recoil, as you saw. Uh, I should show you the recoil and burst and full auto without any uh, modifications on it. Uh, more recoil and accuracy. Um, increased damage there. I almost take a bigger magazine on this than more damage. I was reloading quite a bit. So let's uh, let's take a look at this. So I'm just going to hold down fire and not control recoil at all and burst. So you can see there, I'm do it one more time. And I'm just holding down the trigger and 
Uh, this is not a burst where you have to uh, press it for every burst. You can just hold down. So full auto. See, it, it moves, but not a ton. Um, that's quite easy to control. And the burst, like, barely moves. So, let's see if I can uh, get any ammo that I just wasted. Not too worried about it. I got quite a bit here. That is an assault rifle, and they do have deep ammo pools. Alright, so this guy here. So I think I was only uh, hitting him with the one. Yeah, it's just getting that distance right, but when the enemies are grouped up, uh, it seemed to be uh, getting some, some of those lucky kind of extra shots, which is quite nice. I gotta take care of this Nog. Where is he? Oh wait, I was gonna try it up close. So when I'm hitting all three... Yeah, I greatly prefer full auto to this. Uh oh. Taking some damage there. Uh, where is someone to shoot? Stupid mobs. But yeah, you can see at close range, this thing uh, works pretty damn well. You can almost use it as like a little shotgun. Where is... Alright, this guy's just gotta go though. Alright, I'm gonna switch off of a uh, burst. Because up close it definitely works better. Full auto. I just did do a suicide run on that guy. And of course he moves around. And let's just spread that radiation everywhere. I could be using my racks quite a bit more to stay alive. Um, so yeah, if you get this with an augment, I can see some pretty, pretty good potential here. Again, uh, this would be a very good gun for Zane because of the three ammo per shot, deep magazine, good fire rate, uh, up close and personal. I can see it's a very good uh, brain freeze, calm, cool, collected gun. <clears throat> I'm sure there's some better guns out there for it, but if you get point blank, you're going to be hitting with all three pellets every time. And you got to get nice and close to do that, but I mean, at that range, you should be hitting all three. Unless all three aren't popping out that range. That is something to test. Maybe after I kill the boss, I'm going to go uh, try this on a car. That guy was just sitting in a bad spot where I couldn't get to him. Gonna irradiate the water all around me, I'm sure. I am going down a lot in this video, but I am playing a little more aggressively, too. So, right there, I am just irradiating the water. Now this is radiation's weakness, is armor, but I still took care of him pretty decent. Yeah, so I should definitely test, like, do they come out and then split, or do they start procking at a different distance? Because right there I can't tell 
Well, there's no decals on that wall. That's disappointing. Does this one have decals? All right, so. There it is. So now you can see him split. Interesting. So yeah, it's it's all about getting that range just right. Now on bigger targets like uh, Chupacabra up here and stuff, you'll just be hitting with all of them all the time. So that'll be good. It could be decent on Grave Ward. I don't know if it's got kind of that DPS for it, but you would be hitting with all the pellets. I mean, it is working quite nice on these guys. Not that they have that much health, but... Still uh, doing good things. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of digging this gun. I'm thinking a little bit right now, like, where's, uh... I think that was a good case of he was flying away and I was still hitting him. Yeah, so this should be a good use case for these guys. I just kind of think the... The radiation kind of works nice with this, the way it spreads out. And if you have enemies around... You kind of just hit them all. And it works out. Best to close your eyes. They like uh, running a little bit low on ammo here. I mean, not terribly. Like, in that case, you know, I just did damage to both of them. And then you have that irradiation dot. Um, that kind of hurts nearby enemies and the explosion. Yeah, so not the fastest gun in Chupacabra, but uh, not bad. That one was talking shit. And I did see a legendary fall. Okay. And I don't have like the craziest DPS built into this build, so... You could definitely crank it up a little bit. And with a... Uh, um... Amara... With a uh, indiscriminate... It'd be kind of interesting to see these like reflecting. Because, uh, yeah, with the the way that split goes... Oh, it's about time he dropped it again. Um, yeah, the way the split works, that could be interesting with those kind of uh, bouncing enemy to enemy. I wonder if any of them hit if they could proc a new three bullets. Because sometimes that's the way it works with weird things like this. But they aren't unlisted. They are listed, so it probably wouldn't work that way. It would just probably proc one but it's worth looking into to see how that would um, interact with indiscriminate <clears throat> but it would uh yeah it would have some potential there to do some cool things so there I was hoping to like shoot past him and hit that guy and get some like two for one damage there it didn't work out like I hoped I think there it worked a little bit. Hard to tell. It's easier to see that stuff in post than uh, on live playing. But yeah, I'm trying to find like the upside of this gun because it's solid. It's not fantastic. But when you see a gun like this, you're just thinking like, I'm missing something that can like really make this shine. Part of it might be too like. This is that gun that really makes me wish singularities were the same as they were in Borderlands 2. Instead of like the ragdoll send everybody everywhere. Uh, yeah. It would have been nice. 
he dead? Who's left? There he is. I also hope, part of me really hopes Amara gets a radiation uh, element. Because if we get those fourth skill trees, there could be a, another element there. So let me just dot all those guys up there. Oh, nice loot. And a legendary that almost fell into the wall. Second one of those this run, I'll take it. So I'm slowly burning through ammo here. I, I seem to be maintaining that 500 range for a while uh, without trying to pick up any ammo. Just from killing enemies and things popping up. And then kind of using my shield to get those. So that looked like a sweet spot, but it was hard to tell with those guys. So yeah, let's just, how do those dots do? They do alright. Radiation dots do decent work. Um, that's another reason, like, with Amara, using this thing and just kind of getting those dots all over the place, they do decent work and she can boost her dots. Um, which could turn this into a decent dot gun. Um, the damage per second is low. The chance is low, but with that fire rate in times three, uh, it seems to be working pretty well. I'm kind of back up to that 500 range I seem to be maintaining, which should be fine for Trant. I'm just going to hit these two here for safety and get almost nothing. Cool. <laughs> that was me being fire. Cool. Don't hold back! Yeah, we'll see how it deals with Tront here. I don't know if there I was just seeing things. It looked like I was hitting him around the barrier. It is nice for those skeletons because you get that extra level of like when they're moving side by side. And it's just a good full auto like this just feels like a solid doll full auto gun, you know? There's something about just kind of the feel of it. That's the stuff that's kind of hard to show. It's just like, feels right, you know? It's one of those things. Um, I did look at the wiki about this, which the Expanse thing was not on the wiki. I figured that out on my, by myself, people. I did not look that up. Um, Let the hunt take. But, uh, oh... Rex, heal me. Yeah, once I got past his shield, this did really good work. I think I was kind of in a good uh, spot there for them to come together. She was taking good damage. So yeah, this thing looks like it's got a lot of potential, especially on bigger enemies. Um, just take some playing with. I'm not sure if it comes in all elements. Uh, this is a world drop. Which is sad. But if it's a reference to a cool, uh, damn, I already have it, um, sci-fi show, and that's awesome. I feel like for a while there we were like lacking sci-fi shows, but then kind of think back and they kind of always were there, you know. It's not bad. You know, you always. You always had some going on. I mean, Stargate was going on forever. Battlestar. You had Babylon and Farscape and a bunch of stuff for a while. This is just a cool-looking slide uh, thing. But yeah, I should go back and watch The Expanse because it seemed pretty interesting. Let me know what you guys think of that show. Talk me into watching it. Go and meet death. Yeah, that was a pretty good spread of the uh, radiation. See if the Nog will just die from it. Alright, so can I hit this guy just kind of shooting through there? 
Maybe. I don't know if that was my pet. I didn't see any of my numbers pop up, so I don't know what was hitting them. Another loot ghost? Damn, these things are popping up like crazy. Double, triple drop? Holy, all three legendaries. God damn, that is sweet. Alright, so now that I got my first triple drop with all three legendaries, I think I'm going to cover those guns next. That's, that's nuts. That's awesome when that stuff happens. So there, I was trying to hit both guys and kind of one, and it worked. I was able to kind of just uh, go a little back and forth and hit them. Yeah, there's something about this gun that's just fun. I really want to farm up some anointed versions. Uh, that would give it like what it's missing. You know, I'll throw another element on it, or you know, just extra damage with like the rack one or like an Amara. I don't know, there's a lot of anointments. Where's this badass going? Hmm. Yeah. I definitely think the anointed would just kick it up the notch it needs. But I seem to maintain my ammo. I kind of went down there and then the game was just giving me enough drops where it wasn't running too low. So that's good. Um, just stat wise, um, if it can come with a bigger mag, I might take less damage for a bigger mag. But I can always just increase the magazine with like artifacts and stuff too and uh, skills. But that was one thing. I was burning through with magazines pretty quick, which I don't. Don't, sorry, don't love, uh, yeah, just found myself reloading a little bit too often. Um, so that could, uh, find a way to be better. This is only true Vault Hunter mode, not Mayhem. Um, uh, but in comparison to other guns killing-wise that I've brought into, uh, Mayhem from true Vault Hunter, this felt comparable with a lot of legendaries. And uh, I didn't quite have the sweet spot down that well. So, actually, doing that off stairs is a little more fun. It's like a fun mini game. Uh, <laughs> uh, the little things that make us happy. Yeah, so, like I said, this thing. I, I think you could really use, like, skills and other gear to really kind of kick it up to that notch where you'd be happy with it and uh, make it super powerful because so I think right now it's just a bit shy of like where you'd really really want it um, but yeah I think I could do some cool Amara things with this uh, I really do so maybe I'll go do a Mayhem 3 Amara video with this I've done that with some of these guns I've covered and uh I know usually when it's elemental, I don't... I was going to go to Sanctuary. Um, kind of test that. Uh, yeah, with that elemental stuff, I don't always uh, say infusion's good. But what if it's radiation, and then I like add some shock to it, that could be a good thing. Alright, so I want to go spawn a car... And I'm going to respect to get rid of all my skills. And we are going to quick check the... If death could see me now. Oh, uh, the split. See if it splits at point blank. And you just don't see the split. So I should also take off all my stuff. Do I have enough backpack space? I do. Alright, so now I'm boosting nothing. Uh, all I have is my... Um, Guardian rank, which is just always on, so whatever. Alright, so let's deploy vehicle. So, 797. I'm trying to think if that's... So, 357 times 3. So that look like all 3. Yep, 398. 398. So wait, 797 just looks like two though. There we go. No, that's all three. Okay. 
So if I go point blank. Yep, they do spawn point blank. 797, that's all three. So yeah, if you use this thing like a close range shotgun, I think that confirms on Zane. That'll be crazy. Because uh, 24 mag, three, shot, three bullets for one ammo is quite impressive. Especially with the deep ammo pool of assault rifles. And that's just a lot of pellets per second with this fire rate, too. Um, 7.68 isn't the best fire rate, but that's a solid fire rate, especially for that amount of pellets. So that could be a really good Zane gun that people might be sleeping on. But maybe people have figured out, and I just haven't seen that. That's definitely possible. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Helix. Uh, I'm quite excited about it, and I want to do some more uh, work with it and play around with it. And uh, I'll probably go follow this up with a, uh, a Mara video on it. And uh, really try to min-max it rather than try to stay neutral. And see what I can do with it. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, uh, hit that like button if you liked it. Dislike if not. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. And I will see you all later. Bye.